Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about multiplying decimals mentally up to two decimal places by one tenth, one hundred, ten, and one hundred. These are the steps in multiplying decimals mentally by ten and one hundred. Number one, move the decimal point of the other factor one or two places to the right respectively number two when necessary annex zeros in order to have the correct answer of decimal places to fully understand the steps let's study some examples find the product of the following decimals mentally six and sixty seven hundreds times ten in multiplying decimal by 10, move the decimal point one decimal place going to the right. And the answer is equal to 66 and 7 tenths. Another example, 54 and 56 hundredths times 100. In multiplying decimal by 100, move the decimal point two decimal places going to the right. So, the answer is equal to 5,456. Another example, 21 and 2 tenths times 100. We're going to move the decimal point two places going to the right. Since there is only one digit at the right of the decimal point, and we need to move the decimal point two places going to the right, then we will add one zero in our product therefore the answer is equal to 2120 let's have some exercises find the product of the following decimals mentally 12 and 7 tenths times 10 what is your answer all right the answer is equal to 127 another one 4 and 65 hundredths times 100. What is your answer? Yes, the answer is equal to 465. Another one. 1 and 78 hundredths times 10. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is equal to 17 and 8 tenths. Next, 78 and 5 tenths times 100. What is your answer? All right, the answer is equal to 7,850. These are the steps in multiplying decimals mentally by one tenth and one hundredth. Number one, move the decimal point of the other factor one or two places to the left, respectively. Number two, when necessary, and next zeros in order to have the correct answer of decimal places. Let's study some examples. 9 and 54 hundredths times 1 tenth. In multiplying decimal by 1 tenth, move the decimal point one place value going to the left. So the answer is equal to 954 thousandths. Another example. 891 and 3 tenths times 100. In multiplying decimal by 100, move the decimal point two places going to the left. So the answer is equal to 8 and 913 thousandths. Another example, 7 and 85 hundredths times 100. So we're going to move two decimal places going to the left. Since there is only one digit after we move the decimal point going to the left, then we add zero to our product. Therefore, the answer is equal to 785 ten thousands. Let's have some exercises. Find the product of the following decimals mentally. 3 and 7 tenths times 1 tenth. What is your answer? Alright, the answer is equal to 37 hundredths. Another one. 
678 and 5 tenths times 100. What is your answer? Yes, very good. The answer is equal to 6 and 785 thousandths. Another example. 6 and 54 hundredths times 100. What is your answer? All right, the answer is equal to 654 ten thousandths. Another example, 21 and 5 tenths times 1 tenth. What is your answer? All right, the answer is equal to 2 and 15 hundredths. I hope you understand our lesson for today. So, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.